Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the constants, the variables, data types and the keywords in C++. So first, we're going to begin with the constants. As the name indicates, a constant is an entity which doesn't change. We have different types of constants. For example, we have integer constants, which is a whole number. For example, 44 or uh, we have uh, 86 or any whole number, which is an integer constant. And then we have floating point constants. For example, 12.23, you know, a number with decimal values, 34.53, etc, etc. So all these are floating point constants. Then we have character constants, you know, for example, a uh, letter A or a letter B or a letter Z, you know, character constants, single character and a character constants is written in single quotes. And then we have string constants, which are written in uh, double quotes, for example, anil and uh, uh, we have uh, any other string, for example, lad. You know which is written in double quotes and which is a bunch of characters these are called string constants in computer memory whatever we save the values will be stored in zeros and ones so this computer memory is divided into small small bits and the small small bits are grouped to form bytes eight bits are grouped to form one byte so it's gonna be 8 bit equal to 1 byte. The values zeros and ones are stored in these bits 0 or 1. So something like this. And all of you know that computer memory has their own address. For example, let's say this byte has the address 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And similarly, this byte is gonna contain its own address. And when we store some values in our computer memory, you know, when we want to use that in our program, what we need to do is we need to refer this address or the location where our value is stored. So to access the value stored in a memory by using its address is very difficult. That's why what we're going to do is we're going to give a name to this memory location so that we can easily remember that and also we can easily refer that. For example, let's give a new name called x to this byte. So, so this name given to this memory address or the name given to the memory location is called as a variable. So a variable is nothing but the name given to a memory location in order to access it easily. So when we give a name or create a variable in our program, you know, whenever we refer to that variable, for example, y equal to 2x you know let's assume that y is another variable here the x will refer to whatever value which is stored in this variable or the memory location uh, referred by this variable x so next is about the data types so all of you know that you know when we store some values in our memory locations you know and give some name to them you know the compiler wants to know what type of data we are storing in that variable or the memory location so the type of data stored in a variable is called data type so we have uh, integer data types which refers to the integer constants we have character data types which refers to character constants we have floating point we have boolean we have uh, and one special data type is there which is called void which is normally used with the functions just to indicate that a particular function is not going to return any values you know which we're going to learn later in the tutorials on the functions so a data type is nothing but what type of data is stored in a variable or a memory location so we have integer floating point character boolean you know which is true or false then uh, void you know which is valueless data types and also we have some type modifiers which are used with the data types we have uh, signed unsigned short and long type modifiers and these are used with the data types and these type modifiers are going to influence on the number of bytes to store a particular value 
for example some compilers are going to take two bytes to store an integer value and you know some compilers are going to take four bytes or something like that so when we use this type modifiers they're going to increase or decrease the bytes or memory taken to store that particular variable of that type all right the next thing is about the keywords these keywords are nothing but the words whose meanings are already defined to our compiler for example to indicate that we are going to store integer value in a memory location or in a variable we need to use the keyword int as the data type so this int is a keyword for integers similarly we have float for floating then uh, char for character then bool for boolean etc etc so there are many keywords available in c++ and uh, for example we have if you know whose meaning is already defined to the compiler we have for we have switch and many are there so the main thing is we can't use these keywords whatever keyword is there we can't use them with our variable name so here we have a variable name or the name given to the memory location is called x and here we can't give a keyword here for example i can't write int here or i can't give a name int to the memory byte once again a constant is an entity which doesn't change we have integer floating point character string constants then a variable is a name given to a memory location in order to access that easily and then data type indicates what type of data is stored in in a variables and the keywords are the words whose meaning is already defined to the compiler and we can't use them as the variable names so this is it guys this is about some information on the constants variables data types and keywords i know my drawing is a bit ugly so i'm really sorry for that and uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and if you have any doubt don't hesitate to put a comment if you have any suggestion please comment it and i'll see you in the next tutorial